This week on Country Music Junkies, we are pleased to introduce you to the Hunter Brothers. I am pleased to be joined by Ty of the Hunter Brothers. Ty is one of five brothers in this band from Saskatchewan. So Ty, thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for having us today, Patrice. We really appreciate it a lot. Well, we're really pumped to be talking to you and... Uh, to give our listeners a chance to learn a little bit more about you guys. As I mentioned, uh, kind of before we started recording, you've got a new single, an upcoming album. We're going to get to all of that, but I want to take our listeners back a little bit and talk about the Hunter Brothers and how you guys sort of came to be. I mean, obviously, five brothers seems like a good fit there, but when did you guys decide to kind of make this a career, and, and how did this journey begin? Well, you know what? Actually, music has been part of my heritage as long as I can remember. My parents were actually on stage when I was in the womb, so <laughs> it goes back right to the very beginning for me. So, um, yeah, we've been on stage for, yeah, I would say 20-plus years now, um, so it goes way back. Even, actually, my grandfather was a very musical man. He played, I think he was self-taught in about six different instruments, so music was just kind of part of our heritage. We actually grew up singing gospel music, so a lot of a cappella, a lot of harmony-driven stuff. And uh, it just continued to kind of progress, and we had a few different uh, genre changes. Um, we went into CCM music for a while, and it eventually just transitioned into country music, because a lot of people would say, are you guys a country band? And we thought, well, maybe we should be. <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's going back a little ways. But um, we actually um, grew up singing a lot of the same festivals as High Valley. And so um, Brad from High Valley actually co-produced our upcoming album and so it was really neat because we've always had that connectivity um, right from a young age um, mm -hmm. singing on a lot of the same stages and so um, yeah we got in contact with him and recorded this album and yeah it just kind of took off from there so they've been um, super helpful in the development of um, the country music scene for us so we really appreciate them a lot that is and um, cool. yeah we eventually signed with Open Road Recordings with uh, Ron Kitchener and, um, yeah, things have just progressed from there. That is super cool. Now, talk to me a little bit about the dynamic in the band. Five brothers, I can only imagine the shenanigans that happen on the road and, and whatnot, but what's the dynamic like when you guys are, you know, hanging out, making music? <laughs> Honestly, to start off, I'll say just go and check out our Facebook feed right now because we've been releasing <laughs> some teaser videos, and that'll give you a little bit of insight into what happens here on the farm and the camaraderie between us as brothers. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. We're some of each other's best friends, and so it's just a privilege to be able to do music together and to farm together. And um, life on the road is crazy. I mean, four of us are married and have kids. And uh, this last trip when we went down to Nashville, there were 17 people on the bus wow. at the same time um, touring into the States and back up to Canada. So you can only imagine the shenanigans that go on amongst five different families collaborating together. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've just always really enjoyed working together and uh, singing together. And so it's just been a, an honor and a privilege to be able to um, partner um, in music and now in country music specifically. That is super cool. Now, let's talk about the first song that I think most of our listeners would be pretty familiar with, uh, El Dorado. How did that song come to be? And, uh, and maybe give us a little bit of uh, the story behind that one. Yeah, for sure. Well, Elder Auto's always been um, just a really neat song for us. Um, actually, it was really cool because our uncle actually was a Cadillac man, and uh, he passed away a few years back, and he actually owned an Elder Auto. No. So when we came back and played the song for our parents the very first time, uh, Mom, being our number one fan, just started bawling. She just started weeping. No. It was really um, quite a special moment because, um, because of our uncle there. And so that song has just kind of held a lot of sentiment mental ties and I mean it just kind of gives the feel of growing up in the country with your arm out the window and cruising up and down dirt roads which is something we were very familiar with um, as kids growing up and so yeah just the feel of it and I think um, the song it just we were inspired by different groups who were pretty harmony driven so Rascal Flats and Little Big Town and it kind of gives some of that same feel of um, a lot of harmonies once it hits the chorus so yeah that's a bit on El Dorado. Excellent. Now let's chat a little bit about the new single. It's called Getaway. It is super fun. What a cool song. I just saw the new video for it today and uh, it's awesome fans. You definitely have to check it out. Let's talk a little bit about that song. And perfect timing, I mean right before March break coming up or, or spring break. Talk to us about it from, from your end. What do you guys think about it and how did that one come together? 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, Getaway is a song that we've been incredibly excited to release for quite some time now. So um, we were down and we were writing this song with um, Seth Mosley, who is our producer, as well as with Brad um, from High Valley. Uh, the idea just kind of come about, you know, when you're stuck up in the wintertime, um, specifically in Canada, and Saskatchewan usually gets some pretty crazy winters. I mean, we can experience all four seasons in a day pretty wow. easily. So um, when you're kind of caught under three feet of snow, um, you know, you kind of get some of those wintertime blues. So just being with the one that you love kind of takes you to another place. So just this kind of hook came together and, um, yeah, the one that you love being your getaway. And so it just kind of went from there and uh, we were all really excited about it. And it kind of just turned into this, yeah, summertime vibe song. And we thought it would be a lot of fun to release it kind of close to the end of winter so that people, you know, just in that last stretch of winter ready to kind of feel some summertime and to get some rays, um, just kind of boost their spirits a little bit. And so that's how it came together on a music and lyrical front. And then with the video, we actually got to um, partner hand in hand with the Eddie Brothers, who are another um, brothers team who actually do video production. And so we were down in uh, Florida and we were able to uh, record the video there um, on the beaches of Florida. And that was honestly one of the coolest experiences for us as brothers um, up to this point. We had a lot of fun with it. That is really cool. Again, fans, you got to check it out. We'll include a link to that video uh, when we post this interview as well. Really cool song. Now, that's the title track to your new album out March 3rd. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about what fans can expect? I know you worked very closely with Brad Rempel. You mentioned of High Valley on this record. But what else can we expect from some of maybe some of the stories that you're telling, the vibe of the, the record? What can fans look forward to? Yeah, definitely. Well, first of all, the album's going to be released March 3rd digitally, and it'll be, the hard copy will be released March 17th, um, so you can pick that up um, very soon, so we're pretty excited about that. And yeah, this, the song really deals with a lot of um, just fun and upbeat relationships, um, just growing up in the prairies, where we're from, there's actually a song that um, we got to collaborate with High Valley on, so that's pretty exciting, just um, being out in the country. So yeah, growing up in the country, and uh, just a lot of fun um, relationship type songs. Um, so I think that's what fans can really expect from um, the premiere album. It'll be just a lot of fun. Excellent. Well, we look forward to hearing that. Now, you guys are up for four awards at the 2017 Saskatchewan Country Music Association Awards. That's got to be pretty cool. Yeah, that was a very, very encouraging email to wake up to the other day to see, um, yeah, four nominations, and then my brother Luke is uh, nominated for um, Bass Player of the Year, and so that was just a super cool um, and humbling uh, announcement to hear, and so we're really excited for that. That's the beginning of April and of March, the SCMA Awards are, so we're really excited to be a part of that. It's our first time, so we're humbled to be alongside of so many great uh, musicians um, that are part of this province. Awesome. Well, we wish you best of luck with that. Now, summer is uh, coming up. What are you most looking forward to about the summer? Oh, man. I'm looking forward to um, Dauphin Fest in Manitoba. That was a pretty exciting announcement. That actually came on the hinges of our Combine Got Stuck parody video, which when we were in Harvest, <laughs> it was kind of a random thing. I just said, we need to hop out and record this. So we did uh, when the Combine Got Stuck, and I think a lot of farmers were feeling um, just the weight of the really bad weather this last year, and so just making light of that. And so then we got the invite to go to Dauphin Fest uh, in Manitoba. So it's just pretty crazy to know we'll be singing um, alongside artists like Keith Urban and um, a lot of other incredible artists. So that one's pretty exciting for sure, along with the other ones. Absolutely. Now, if fans want to connect with you, if they want to get access to the album, or if they want to connect with you on social media, where's the best place for them to go and do that? Awesome. Well, they can check out our website, which is just uh, www.hunterbrothers.com. Uh, you can check us out on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, and Google Play would be probably the best places to uh, pick up the music. So, um, yeah, and you can just keep in touch with us on Facebook. Like I said, we usually release some, some fun videos, and it gives a little bit of insight into the farm and life here, um, you know, in the music realm and in the farm as well. So, yeah. <laughs> That is great. Well, fans, again, be sure to check them out. Ty, thank you so much for chatting with me. I've had a blast and uh, looking forward to hearing the new record. Again, uh, out online March 3rd and uh, out in um, physical copy March 17th. So really looking forward to that. Ty, thanks so much. Thank you so much for having us today, Patrice. Really appreciate it.